A lot of people ask me these kind of questions, but I, since you're the spiritual teacher here, mm -hmm. you're my sage extraordinaire. I'm going to ask you, and you ha and you're going to have to answer everyone. Let's go. Okay. Are ghosts real? Yes. Really? Yeah. I mean, I think so. A lot of people misread when they sense a presence. Yes. Because it's not actually the soul. It's just there was something emotional that happened and it sort of left an imprint. How do you avoid becoming a ghost, though? Because what if you just want to, like, <laughs> die and not haunt people? Fundamentally, as long as you're preparing yourself through life of like this is what I'm about this is how I'm growing this is what I'm letting go of then you're not really set to carry following you on Instagram will ensure that you do not exactly a okay how did you first learn you are a prophet I just thought that I knew a lot of stuff when I was a kid and then did you look at somebody and just know something yeah because my primary gift is clear cognizance which is the gift of clear knowing that's fascinating yeah really mm -hmm. what do you know about me <laughs> okay, so it's not a secret. It's like when you met me, you just knew something. You well, knew that you, were both magical. Yeah, that you've had many lifetimes being a witch, that you've practiced many forms of magic, that you've got many lifetimes. You've been a woman a lot of lifetimes as well. Do you think that just because I played a witch? That's amazing. oftentimes in real life, real life is in this life, it mimics what we've experienced before because uh -huh. we've, we sort of carry over lessons and especially with actors, uh -huh. they will find roles that will mimic what they've been through because it's another way to clear out stuff. It is my favorite role I've yeah. ever played to date, so that makes sense. What was your last past life? Uh, I was actually a witch in Italy very Were we recently. Were witches together? Um, not in that lifetime. We were way back England time we or Scotland. We were witches in Scotland. Hold on a second. Mm. We were witches in Scotland mm. together. Mm. We've been witches in a few places together. So I lived like Outlander, my favorite show. Oh, bad. This is the best. We've had some close. <laughs> We've had some close. <laughs> were we good witches? Uh, varying degrees. You know. When we were witches together, were we in like a, a coven, like a tree? Yeah, a circle, yeah. Okay, so we weren't lonely witches. No. No, no, we had lots of friends. <gasps> I knew I loved you, Todd. This, <laughs> this is just getting weirder and weirder and everyone watching. What is God to you? Um, so slightly deep question. Real simple question. Simple, um, simple question. And for me, it's point of origin or point of origination. Mm -hmm. So this uh, point of creation, which everything has sprung from. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think that humans in this state now will have language to express what that is and how that feels or what that looks like. What was your first spiritual awakening? I vividly remember when I was in the church in Sunday school when I was a kid and I closed my eyes and I got taken to what I now realize was like the spirit realm and it was all about this like what was meant to be like hell uh -huh. but there were no demons in it. I think that a lot of times we create in our mind something to sort of keep ourselves in, in, in line, you know, hell is this, heaven is this, but actually yeah. it's, it's more of a consciousness state. Okay, examples of how spirit gives you signs in life. Knowing signs as well, um, numbers. Numbers is big for me. Maybe this is what we did too when we were witches because I, I have an actual sign of ladybugs. I'm not kidding. Mm -hmm. They find me when there's something really great or big about to happen. I've been in the middle of the snow and veil in December and the 11th floor of a hotel room one was on my bed. And That's I was amazing. like, this only happens to me. So I, I believe that. And I mean, they represent wishes fulfilled. See, I did not know this, but I knew this. Mm -hmm. I knew it was something. So people, spirit send signs. Okay, so for someone interested in this, how do you recommend they start feeling or healing themselves? Embrace every day with a simple concept of like, whatever's uncomfortable for me, I'm not gonna run from it. I'm gonna like let it show me itself and then I'm gonna consciously work with it. And then I'm gonna listen to how I feel every Feeling, day. right? Listening to how yeah. you feel is always a really good one. It's like, I feel like most people just go, oh, I don't wanna, f you know, they push away, but actually the feeling is the entry point into your higher self, your bigger. You Absolutely, know, and sort of don't be scared itself. of uncomfortable feelings because yeah. they often show us exactly where the trigger is that we have to work through. Yes. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And I want to tell you, Todd has an incredible Instagram, Todd Savis. So at Todd Savis, you can see it. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and subscribe and comment below.